So, 9-6, solving systems by graphing. Here's the good thing. You've done this already because you did it on your stained glass window project. You just didn't know it, okay? So today what's going to happen is you're going to be given two equations and you have to graph both of them on the graph paper. And then there's a there's a, a goal at the end to figure out what kind of lines they make. Do they cross? Do they intersect? Do they, are they parallel? I mean, so there's a goal in the end of when you graph these two things. So before we do that, let's just review so we make sure we know how to graph a line again. What is a uh, slope-intercept form? Yep. No, I want to know this one first. What is the equation for slope-intercept form, right? Right, mx plus b, m is the slope, x or the b is the usually the y-intercept. So if I ask you this one, what's my y-intercept? Negative 4. And what's my slope? 2 over 1. So you knew how to you know how to graph them, right? You're going to graph your negative 4, plot it, and then you're going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and you can dot your, plot your connector dot. Okay? So you have to know how to graph to be able to do this. So that's why we did the same plus 1 process. Two vocab. I have for you the first one is system of equations. The second one is solution of a system. two equations that you're going to put on a graph. The solution is the ordered pair that can solve both of the equations. So your answers are going to be in ordered pair form today. So our ordered pair is xy, remember with the parentheses, remember that? That's how your answers are going to be. Two equations we're going to put on the graph. The solution is the order pair to solve both of those. So that, that's something else you need to have in your notebook. Can I go to the next one? Need a second yet? Okay. So on your graph, then three things. Either those two graphs can intersect. They mean the solution. Yep. Yep. All right, so let's give it a whirl. First thing we're going to do is so grab your piece of graph paper and make a coordinate plane on it. No, 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 a small one. You can make it like 5x5 five five or 6x6 six six or whatever. It's not, it doesn't got to be huge. But I really suggest you do it on graph paper because it has to be perfect. If stuff today is not perfect, then your answer is not going to be correct. That's also why you have to make sure everything's a straight line today. Because if you decide I'm not going to use a straw ruler, then your answer is not going to come out how it should come out. So, and then the equations or the system we're going to solve is right here. So here's my two equations that we're going to put on the graph.
I'm going to do the first one in green. So, if you want to, go ahead and graph the first one if you remember how to do it. Graph the first one. So, y equals x plus 1, or x minus 1. So, it's going to look like this. What? Uh, no, it doesn't have to, but you can make it a nice line. Make it a nice line. So, negative 1, and then up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. So, that's going to be what the first one looks like. And I wish I had a, I wish I could draw straight lines, but that's okay. That's the first one. Yep, draw a line through it and make sure, you know, it goes a little ways, kind of like stained glass window. We took it a little ways, but it didn't go through the whole page. But it goes a little ways. So that's, that's line one. So then graph the next one. So the next one is this one. I'll do it in red. So I'm going to start at plus one. And then it's going to go up one over three. One over three. Up one over three. Up one over three. So they intersect, so we know there's a solution. That's okay. So now the place they intersect is the answer. So if I had to take this dot off, it's going to intersect at 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2. It's going to intersect at 3, 2 is where it should intersect. So whatever dot that is, that you've got to find the coordinate pair of that dot. Does everybody remember how to do that? You go over and cross first and then up and down. So your answer is 3, 2. Now some of you are like, well, I don't get it. Why am I getting that? Well, this is the deal. That right there, so if, remember 3, 2, this is x and this is y, right? If I put this in for x, what am I going to get out for y? 2. Remember, it's like my function. What do you think I'm going to get here if I put 3 in for x? One third times three. One third times three is one. One plus one is. So that ordered pair will solve both of those solutions, both of those equations. It's kind of cool. You did it all in a graph. I think that's kind of neat. It is simple. So that graph, that coordinate pair will solve both of those. We'll tell you what x is and y. Yep. Well, you have to make the coordinate plane for everyone. Okay, think about that. Yes. It is easy. Why is it easy? Because you already did this on your stained glass window project, right? Why do you ever listen to him? Okay, let's do another one. Let's do another one. So, this one doesn't have to be very big. I'm not going to let you do that on homework. So. If you get too many, you never know where they're going to cross. There's a cross That's pretty soon. You're not going to know which one's which. First one, second one. This is actually a pretty simple one. If you look at it, you can really tell what's going to happen. Well, okay, don't confuse everybody now. Stop. You're going to confuse yourself pretty soon, then you're going to be complaining, and I'm not going to deal with that. <laughs> if I were you, I would always extend my line to, like, the whole graph. Up floor, over one, up floor. That's okay. Extend your line. It's not going to be parallel. No, I was dumb because it Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. This one's actually pretty simple. So the first one, I'm going to do three. <laughs> Looks like this, I believe. And then the next one, guess what? So really, where do they cross? <laughs> they cross at three, zero. You should know that by just looking at this, because what's both of their y-intercepts? Zero, three. Zero three, my bad. Yep. yep, you always put the. Yeah. This one? No. I went one, two, three, up two. X, Y. X, Y. 
So this, yeah, that's why people get confused with this. Is they start saying, okay, rise over run, then they start doing the slope instead of the order pair. So be careful, okay? You're just doing the order pair of the point they, so this one was what, 0, 3? Now if I took 0, 3, what would I get out here? I get 3. If I put 0 in here, what would I get out? 3, okay, so it solves both of them. Pretty neat, right? Uh, let's do one more of these, a simple one. This is a simpler one. Then I'm going to do another kind for you. What's that? This is all today. Yes, and that's the next one we're going to do. <laughs> Those stinkers. They would do that. Careful with this one, please. This one has a negative slope in it, you guys. you got to be careful then. I had so many people in the other class who didn't understand still negative slope. one does though. This one has to go through the origin because what's your y-intercept here? No. What's your y-intercept? Negative? This way. Positive? This way. Think about it this way. Negative, you go down. Negative, you're a down person. Positive, you're happy and you're always going up. That's how I think about it. Okay? going to go down and one of them is going to go like this. So they're going to cross somewhere. They should cross perfectly if you are using a straight edge, if you're using a ruler. And you got to remember, there's always a little room for human error, but not a lot of human error. Okay? <laughs> so my first one's going to look like this if you're not sure. Four, and then it's going to look like this. And then my other one, it should be a perfect X, though. It doesn't matter. It just should cross. It doesn't matter if it crosses like this. Yes. 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 Then this one should be like this and like this. That's how it should look. Okay. So then what's your ordered pair? 2, 2 should be your ordered pair. And that's your answer. 2, 2. y equals 3 over 2x minus 1 equals, oh, no, that's not it. Cancel. 3x minus 2y equals 2. So the first one you're okay with. The second one is the one that's going to need a little work. want to, but maybe you want to stop before you grab to make sure you're right. If 
you don't want to graph the second one, maybe you should just stop to make sure you're right before you graph it. Probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Stop. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to change this one. So hopefully you did this. Oh, 3x minus 3x. And then you're going to 2y. And then I s always switch them right off the bat, just because I do. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. Now, here's the thing. This goes away. If I have two negatives here, that becomes a... Yep. Yep. Then, if I have positive 2 divided by negative 2, negative 1. So that's what it should look like after you're done moving things around, fighting. That's because I had a minus three. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, if I look at now, now look at look at this equation and look at this first one. They're going to be the same line, right? Right. So what do we say about the same line then? There's infinite solutions, and we could put anything for x and anything for y, and it's going to be the same answer. So this one would be infinite. No, no, yeah, you don't know what it is. It doesn't cross anywhere. If you had infinite, I could take any number. I could take 1 and 2 and it worked out. Parallel, no solution either because they don't cross. But there's two graphs, but they don't cross. So there's nothing ever going to be able to go into those two to be the same. Correct. Yep, or no solution. That would work too. Any questions for me? Pretty simple, right? Really it is, because you've done this already. You just didn't know what you were doing next. Okay, this is your homework up here. Five through ten, six problems, but you have to make coordinate plane for every one. That's the deal. New piece, yeah, you can use it all graph paper.